the backgrounds are definitely my favorite part as far as the actual painting goes because there are no rules and it's a fun way to practice abstract painting and it's a good way to practice brush strokes and see how paint moves around and the next painting you do you can use what you learned at the background on the actual object you can talk all day about it but nothing beats just painting and just getting a blank piece of paper even and just doing an abstract painting with watercolor because not only will it probably have a pretty cool effect but you'll learn quite a bit that you can apply then to representational painting <laughs>